Let's learn about non-respiratory functions of the lung. Respiratory function of the lung includes gas exchange. The non-respiratory function of the lungs include it acts as in vascular reservoir, it acts as in filter for blood-borne substances, it plays an important role in processing of inhaled air, endocrine and metabolic function, defense mechanism, and as a route for drug administration and drug metabolism. Role of lung as in vascular reservoir. Entire cardiac output from the right ventricle is pumped into the pulmonary vasculature. Out of the entire cardiac output, only 70 to 100 ml participate in gas exchange. The remaining blood volume is present in the vasculature as a left ventricle reservoir. This is because of the low pressure and high compliance system, resulting in recruitment and distensibility. Lung is a filter for blood borne substances. Venous blood normally contains microemboli of blood clots, air, and fat. The pulmonary vasculature traps and filters this emboli and prevents ischemia and infarction. Lung releases fibrinolysin activated, which activates plasminolysin to plasmin, which helps in breakdown of the clots. Role of lung in processing of inhaled air. The lung filters and helps in warming and moisturizing inhaled air. Endocrine and metabolic function of the lung. The RB epithelium contains pulmonary neuroendothelial cells and neuroepithelial bodies which secretes serotonin bombesin in response to hypoxia. Endothelial cells secretes angiotensin converting enzyme. It plays an important role in converting angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which plays a major role in vasoconstriction and sodium and water retention. Angiotensin converting enzyme degrades bradykinin. The lung synthesis surfactant, histamine, calicrine and prostaglandins. And inactivation of the 5-hydroxyputamine noradrenaline, bradykinin, atrial natriuretic peptide, endothelin, PGT2E2 and F2 alpha, and ATP, ADP, AMP, and adenosine. It has no effect on oxytocin, dopamine, adrenaline, vasopressin, and histamine. Role of lung in defense mechanism. The lung plays a major role in defense mechanism against inhaled particles and the microbes. The defense mechanism includes reflexes like cough and sneeze, and mucociliary escalator, and immune defense mechanism. The immune defense mechanism are mediated by surfactant protein A and D, which optimizes the pathogen and activation of the macrophages. The lysosomes produced from the neutrophils plays a major role in lysis of the gram-positive bacteria. The lung produces antimicrobial peptides like cathelicidins and defensins. The alpha defensins are produced from the neutrophils, which plays an important role in bacterial infections and herpes simplex virus infection. The epithelial cells produces beta defensins. The proteases like neutrophil elastase and metalloproteinases has an antimicrobial properties. And immunoglobins like IgA and IgG plays a major role in humoral immunity. And epithelial cells and macrophages plays an important role in cell mediated immunity. The lung also plays an important role in modulation of coagulation cascade. It produces substances for promoting blood clot and lysis of the clot, therefore maintains the balance. The pulmonary endothelium produces plasmin activator which activates plasminogen to plasmin. The plasmin then degrades fibrin into fibrin degradation product. The pulmonary endothelium also produces thromboplatin which activates prothrombin to thrombin. The master cells produces heparin which is an anticoagulant. Lung is a route for drug elimination. The lung acts as a buffer by binding IV drugs and prevents systemic toxicity and also plays an important role in biotransformation of detoxification of inhaled substances. For example, prilocaine and propofol as a route of drug administration. For example, inhaled steroids and bronchodilators are given via inhalation, which has a direct and rapid action and has less systemic side effect. The lung also acts as a modulator of acid-base balance by CO2 elimination. CO2, which is the product of metabolism, combines with water and in presence of carbonic anhydrase enzyme, it forms carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then forms H and bicarbonate ions. When H increases, or when the pH is low, the lung starts hyperventilating, resulting in CO2 elimination, and the pH gets normalized. Thank you.